You are most welcome, right? Ah, you are most welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's move a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Social distancing, social distancing. Pick the NRM party, issued the roadmap for the general elections. But as part of that roadmap, we are required also to elect our party leaders uh, so that. Uh, uh, all the positions are renewed. So today I'm here to bring my expression of interest for the second national chairperson post. Uh, I'm the incumbent, and I look forward to being the, the new one. And you're going back? Yes, that's, that's how I've come. There are things we discussed there, and then the government has turned them into, into practice. For instance, the Women's Fund. It was a proposal I brought in the Central Executive Committee. And eventually it was turned into uh, a, proje a project which the government had to implement. So influencing policy is very, very important. Yeah, so mainly influence of policy and so on. Like now as we are talking about the roadmap, the, the members in the country were not able to come, but we had to sit there and plan for them and design the roadmap. So it's very, very important to be in the Central Executive Committee. I have a big voice in the Parliament, but my voice in the SEC is very, very strong. So it's important that I continue speaking on issues there. There are many issues that uh, still have to be handled. Fin gender mutation, for instance. I'm the only person in this country, other than the Minister for Gender, who speaks about that issue. And every year I go to Karamoja, I go to, uh, to uh, Sebei, to drum up the message of advocacy and so on. On education, I'm always talking about education, of the boys, the girls, but uh, uh, emphasis on the girls. So. Uh, I still need to be able to influence the policies where they begin. So then when I catch them in the house, I refine. Because I, I'll, they'll find me there. <laughs>